There are no men in this world, only women. Years ago a virus that only spreads among men swept the entire planet. In a matter of weeks, all men were extinct. The women were safe and sound, so the whole country became a country of daughters. The children were all girls. Menstruation holidays were added to the legal holidays here. Without men, how did the women produce offspring? The queen used a lottery. The lottery is held only twice a year. The lucky woman will receive a human seed. Those seeds were a rare resource that the country had stockpiled in advance of the extinction of men. But even if a woman wins the lottery, it's not easy for her to conceive a child. They need to undergo a rigorous medical examination. If the chances of having a boy are higher, they would be disqualified from pregnancy. What's even more cruel is that, if they are found to be pregnant with a boy, the pregnancy will be terminated immediately, because even if a boy is born, he will still be infected with the virus. Jamie's husband and son also died from the virus. She waited for four years to have another child. This time she was finally selected. Soon she will have a child of her own. She cried tears of joy. But her sister-in-law, Alex, was not happy with the institution. She picked up the cream next to her and threw it at the queen. She ended up like the other women who resisted. A small pill was injected into her body. After that, she forgot everything and became senile. She had to rely on Jamie and Pip to take care of her everyday life. It's a good thing Alex saw this coming. So she left notes in various places in the house telling herself to eat first and then take oxygen. Then she operated on herself and successfully removed the pills. So she recovered mentally. But her mother wasn't so lucky. They had injected a small pill into her temple years ago because she had broken the rules. So she couldn't get it out. When Jamie and Pip returned from their trip, they found out Alex wasn't home and rushed out to look for her. In the panic, they ran over a man. Just as they were getting ready to check on him, Alex appeared. She walked up and flipped the person she had knocked over. The three women were stunned. He was actually a man. I thought all men on earth were extinct. So where did this man come from? They took the injured man back to the warehouse. When he woke up, he told Alex, there were actually a few surviving males back then. He was one of them. But the queen lied to everyone that the men were extinct in order to rule the country. She also sent assassins to kill the surviving men. His best friend was killed by the assassins. Then he took out a phone card and said you can put it in your phone to contact the base. There will be more surviving men there. But since the queen came to power, their phones have been confiscated by force. Luckily, Alex found a very old phone at home. The next day Jamie learned that she had failed her medical exam and was disqualified from having children. She was home alone and crying. Suddenly she remembered that there was a man at home. So she went to the warehouse and handed him a cup. She asks him to give her a little human seed to fulfill her wish to become a mother. The embarrassing part is, Pip, who doesn't know what's going on, comes in. She pulls the humble Jamie out. Knowing that Jamie wanted sperm, she decided to help her out. So they go back to the warehouse and manage to get a little sperm and give it to Jamie. To increase Jamie's chances of getting pregnant, Pip asks the man for sperm again. As a trade she took the man inside and had him take a shower and change into clean clothes. But Jamie hesitates for a moment after getting the semen again. She put it in a milk delivery box and gave it anonymously to a woman who had been waiting for 8 years to become a mother. She also marked it with a note that it was human sperm. This action revealed that she was hiding a man in her house. The queen injected a pill into the woman's neck to make her stupid. Then she sent assassins to hunt down the man. When the four men had nowhere to run, the phone rang and a man's voice came from inside. The four of them got the exact address and decided to rescue the other men. They drove to the address they were told on the phone. They found that this was the place where the men were isolated. This raised hill is where the bodies were burned. But they waited for half a day and no contact appeared. And their phone didn't ring again. Suddenly, the men saw a red dot on Alex's forehead. The killer was coming. They ran away. The killer was also behind them in his car, chasing after them. But their car was stopped. It turned out to be a menstrual holiday. All the women gathered to celebrate the holiday. In order not to be discovered, they stuffed men into a big doll. Because there were too many people. So they got separated. Without the protection of the others, the man was quickly taken to the car by the female assassin. Jamie didn't hesitate to go after him. She climbed into the killer's car and found a narcotic in the car. She sprinkled it on the killer woman's face. She successfully rescued the man. The four of them reunited and set out to rescue more men, but they were caught by the queen's men. The queen took the man to a group of women for their pleasure. She also forced Pip to join in the fun. As the crowd rallied, Pip finally put up a brave fight. She yelled at the queen and was taken away by the police. 
At this point Jamie and Alex were tied up. They were being executed. The police quickly shot the two staffers in the neck. She told Pip to wake them up quickly. It turns out that the cop is a good friend of Alex's. She had brought Pip here to save them. They immediately found the queen and tasered her. Then they took the man to the place they called again. But as soon as they entered, the door closed automatically. Then there was a burst of poisonous gas. They had nowhere to go. So they went into the ventilation ducts. Just when they thought they could get out. They got stuck and couldn't move. They saw the gas was approaching. So four people simply shake violently destroyed the pipe and fell down. Then they were shocked by what they saw. A group of men were tied to chairs. They were covered with a strange device. It was constantly collecting the men's sperm. And then the queen appeared. She was accompanied by a masked man. He was Jamie's husband who had died of the virus. And the man recognizes him too. He's the friend who gave him the calling card. They planned all of this. They gave them the address so that they could come here themselves. And that's the end of the film. Did the surviving men get out? Does society ever return to a state where men and women can live together in harmony? I don't even know. What do you think? You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.